Jump Force. Jump. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't worry, everybody. I'm pretty sure you get your Naruto characters and DLC in the upcoming <laughs> one. Come, come month, so we're here to talk worry. about just the strangeness of the marketing for this game. Okay, both of us are hyped as fuck for it, but we're a month out, and like, not only is there like no advertisement for it, period, but like. Are there more characters? Are there not? Basically, all of our information comes from Yonko Productions. There's no official channels. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Even their official Twitter barely uses it. The, the most we got for marketing it is ramen noodles. Yeah. Mm-mm. Ramen noodles. Well, they know what weebs eat, Thurman. <laughs> Bro, that's literally what's going on right now. Uh, it's it's literally... It's, you have the... Uh, you have the... The ramen noodles, you can get, get to go to Japan or get the game early, you know, you have a sneak peek. And every every once in a while they say, oh, just reminded Jump Force is coming out next month. Uh, yeah, Pre-order. yeah. <laughs> it's a month away. Uh, how many characters do they have right now? Like 35 or something? Probably 40. Probably. I think I don't think so because, like, uh, people okay. were saying, like, if you added 12, it would be, like, somewhere around 45 to 47, I thought. I think it's only in the 30s. Here's the uh, thing. I just want I don't want to be spoiled, right? I don't want to be spoiled, but like tell me if I'm wrong. These days a game with like 40 40 or less characters that's unacceptable, right? Am, am I am I spoiled or is that what do you think? Well, for a crossover game, no, you're not spoiled. That's it. that's what we expect. Right, yeah. Now, to be to be fair, I don't think it's going to have that uh, cuz like the um Yonko says, you know, 12 more and as we all know, Yonko is anime Jesus. His word is holy. Um so like we're probably going to get somewhere around 50 and then when you add in the DLC, I'm going to guess we're going to be approaching 55 to 60. It is just strange how like last second all of this really is. And I think the stranger thing is that I'm s I cannot get it out of my head how strange it is that Naruto still only has two characters when it's on the fucking cover. And yeah. keep in mind that doesn't bother me because I'm really not that big of a Naruto fan. In fact it's the my least favorite of the big three, so in fact it amuses me greatly. It's funny it's because we seem to be uh, triggered <laughs> these three, uh, these three. <laughs> I bet the next twelve characters, if we ever get them, is gonna be you know, like f- five Naruto characters, three Dragon Ball Z characters, and like maybe one and or two. And Dio. One, one, one piece character. No, That's I it. think it's gonna be honestly. If I were to like, like, let's just shoehorn our predictions in here. Right? I'm think I'm honestly, I, I'm almost positive we're gonna have Jotaro and Dio. If if not, we riot. Maybe if, I still hope there's not that many Naruto. Who the fuck? Naruto's overrated. Just like fucking slap Sakura in there. Maybe like Madara. I don't fucking care. Uh, there was a rumor t- that um, apparently Kaguya's voice actress. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You hear yeah. about that? So maybe Kaguya. So you, you, I guess her or Rayleigh. Her what? or Rayleigh. Cause Rayleigh. Dr. Slump's a very popular series mm, too. Oh, oh, right, right. That's true. Maybe, maybe. So. Uh, but I think it's. I think she was listed as having two roles, so potentially both of them. But um, so I mean, so we're probably gonna get like maybe two or three Naruto characters. I think some Jojo yeah, characters. Jotaro Dio. I'm oh, almost positive oh, they'll slap Suna character. in there. Suna, one key to my character, and then probably something from probably something from New School. I don't know. Maybe. Well, see, because it is weird because we're at this like weird point, right? Where <clears> like if there's seriously only gonna be twelve more characters. There's so many things that you think have to be, like, have to be in there, but the, but maybe they're not going to be, right? Like, you'd think Bakugo would have to be in there with Deku. You'd think, um, you know, insert, ran, you know, Asta's rival character here, whoever that would be. Go ahead, as the Black Clover guy. Who, who, who would be a good second Black Clover character, in your opinion? Either you know or Yami, those two are the most talked about. If you want to add more female characters, Noel will probably be a good choice. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I mean, you'd think, right? But then you have to start to wonder if they really are going to cap it at 50. Are, are, are the new school going to be limited to just the main characters? Is it just going to be Asta and Deku and no none, none more from their their series? That would seem kind of weird. Probably. I mean, if, I, if we're going to be honest, I mean, this is seem how it's going to go. You're right. I think it's just going to be, like, the game representation at all type of thing and what i feel like what they might go for what, you know like, just, just like, like they have lucky to, you got uh, any <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> uh, it's it's weird like i mean i i'm hoping that they do what like i 
I hope they do what they do with, like, DLC and, like, Splatoon, right? Where it's, like, th- this DLC comes out, like, over, like, a year. Like, we're getting new characters, like, once a month for a year or something. Like, because <laughs> may- maybe more than that. I don't know. Like, I really, really, really... I want them to continue supporting this game, and it's only going to be able possible if it's successful. And that dials us back to the original concern, which is that it's not being marketed at all. <laughs> so it's like, uh... It's not the marketing... Namco Namco's marketing team needs to be fired and rehired. Yeah. Uh, ter- I mean... The only thing they care for is Ace Combat 7. <laughs> they need to get, they need to get uh, fucking... Like, really, though, they, they need to start marketing in a way that's, like, very 21st century. Like, think kind of how, like, Wendy's markets. You know, get your Twitter game up. Get your fucking... Make, can you, like, if I was part of marketing, I wouldn't be like... Like, you can tell whoever's in the marketing is, like, some old 20th century motherfucker. Like, put it on noodles. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, if it was, like, one of us, we'd be like, all right, let's make deals with all the anime YouTubers, right? I'd fucking reach out to King Lightning for Neverworld, Chibi, and be like, play this game a couple weeks before it comes out. You know, we'll, we'll pay you, and you can, like, get your fans involved. Like, you know how fucking smart that would be? Like, just get it out there, get it into the community. But no, it, like... Even, like, like, there's a prominent Jump Force YouTuber. Like, his whole thing is, like, Jump Force news and updates. And he's even made the point where it's, like, I'm doing more advertisement for this game than they are. <laughs> yeah, Just it's, it's by talking right? about it, I'm doing more advertisement. It's insanity. And all the complaints I've been seeing is, like, people have been calling this game Dawn with friends. <laughs> what? What are they calling it? Those of, you, those of you who don't know, Dawn is an old crossover game. Don stands for Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Naruto. Oh. It's an old, it's an old GameCube was game. The, that, oh, okay. Uh, wasn't there a DS one or a Game Boy Advance one? Yeah, that, that, but that's some Ultimate Stars. But this, this is, this, but this, this is why I'm adding Don. This, this is the point. This is why I'm adding Don is, is because Don was a just, just, just. It was just Dragon Ball characters, One Piece characters, Naruto characters. A very, I wouldn't say a Super Smash Brothers clone level, but it was something similar because those three was a popular three at the time. Uh, and people are calling this Jump Force Dawn with friends because we have about like six or seven One Piece characters, six or seven Dragon Ball characters, and then it would count for Naruto, but Naruto only has two characters. So I mean, oh, so the point being that they're they're too they're they're relying too much on the popular ones, and uh. so basically, basically, it's saying this is the Dragon Ball Naruto One Piece game with friends. Uh, I think you could slap Hunter X Hunter in there. That surprisingly got a lot of representation as well. With friends. Hunter Hunter was only in there just to get Char- Togashi to go hiatus faster. <laughs> I don't know. Man, like, well, first of all, as a Hunter X Hunter guy, I you know I'm already happy with this game because we got my Hunter my Hunter X Hunter representation. Uh, but like, I'm not even mad at that. good. I'm not even mad that Dragon Ball and One Piece have so much representation. They actually added characters. I think both. people I'm have to realize both. at the end of the day, a game is meant to be a game for you know, like it has to be successful. Like it's it's a business at the end of the day, right? Of course they're gonna put popular shonen, your popular characters in there. You know that makes sense. Um, but I do wish that they'd kind of balance it out to those more niche ones it's hard to say because like part of the fun of a game like this is like oh i don't know that character i'm gonna read the thing so i can know them for the game you know um but we'll have to see how it goes i my biggest hope is that like even with their lack of marketing just the sheer hype of this can like propel the game to success and then they can really really um cash in on dlc you know hype along isn't gonna save it man you don't know that bro (laughs) Because <laughs> see, the, the thing is about this game is, is that because you know you know the uh, you know the uh, the beta comes out next week, right? Or this week actually, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, the beta comes out, so I'm gonna play the beta. I'm gonna do a video on it, right? Uh, give my thoughts of the game. So my, my like I said, like I've been saying since day one, my only biggest gripe about this game is the one is a shared health bar. That's the only really issue is, but everything else looks perfectly fine. I'm gonna be honest. Mm. Like gameplay wise, the way it looks. Like, my biggest how game thing that I respect is the attention to detail to like manga only. Like the manga only master race is represented very well in this game. <laughs> yeah. So like my my biggest thing that I'm only I've really complained about vehemently, and, and you can you and David can attest to this. It's just the one health bar. I think mm-hmm. that's stupid for a fighter, in my opinion, especially since. 
Burning Blood, one actually a really popular One Piece game, which I hear, it literally has a three v three tag, and you can tag the the, the mechanic to where you can aim bad health when they're tagged out. Like they have this, so why they would make this into like a three v three with a health bar fighter it makes no sense to me. I agree. Like, I mean, if and, it's gonna be a single health bar, I'd rather it just be a, like a you you pick one character and you play as that one character. <laughs> Yeah, because like, like I've been saying, people have been saying, well, it just means that you have to be smarter with the characters that you play as. But no, you have to be smart regardless of any fighting game you play. Mm-hmm. So people, people get so upset about having someone switch off their character, but that doesn't make a difference. If you're kicking somebody's ass, switching their character doesn't mean diddly dick. They're still going to get their ass kicked. <laughs> so the fact that people are, are getting upset because people can switch characters in a tag game, what's the point of a tag game if you can't switch out your character? Why would you be pissed at a mechanic that literally tells you to switch out characters because it's a three v three, not a one v one? That's that's like that's like you and a friend going to fight some other dude, and then while you're beating up that one dude, the other dude out of nowhere just comes up and hits you. And you say, "What's up? What the fuck, bro? I'll fight this dude." No, it wasn't a one v one fight. <laughs> like some fucking fights. anime main character style. This is a you, a battle of honor. You've just disrupted my honor. Yeah. <laughs> Like and, and the fact, that my biggest thing is the fact that people, people, what this game is going to really entail is, is that it's not going to, uh, what's the word, in, inventicize, in, invent uh, is, what what is that word? Start from E. Oh, uh, you, I don't. You got to tell me what, what kind of word you're looking for, man. It's the one that uh, people, uh, that people, when you try to push someone to do something, like try to get incentivize. In- inventify. Incentivize. In- incentivize. Thank you. Thank you. Incentivize someone to switch out. It's just going to be, why would I have to switch out? So what people are going to do in this game is they're just going to pick one character that they're really good at, and then just pick two two characters that are good have good support slots, and it's going to be a one v one. I guarantee that's what the, I'm going to fucking do. <laughs> Honestly, if there's no, because if there's no, um, uh, if there's no like incentive to switch out, then yeah, I'd rather just pick the character I want to play as and stick with that character. Like, like if I get bored with the character I'm playing, I'll probably just switch yeah, out and yeah. play with someone else. I mean, but at the same time, why would I do that? You know, mm-hmm. it's just like it's not going to be much different. Unless you want to, you know, it's going to get it's going to get boring and repetitive after a while. You mm-hmm. know, unless you want to reenact like your fanfic or something and have like Dio and Hisoka have a tag off. Yeah, but even then, it's just like <laughs> that's but, like half the point of the game for me. I, I just the seeing. Because let Dio is confirmed in my head, okay? I don't care what anyone says. He's he, Dio's making it in, and if not, I'm I'm gonna fucking go walk up to GameStop and burn my fucking pre-order receipt in front of them. <laughs> it's because because it's what thing is is like my my main team. I already have one of my main teams that is gonna be Asta, Deku, and Zoro. Like that's like my my main team. That's gonna be my my first main team, mm. and for the most part, I'm probably just gonna use Asta as my forefronter. And then if I feel like ever mm-hmm. Deku or, or Zoro, I'll just play as Deku and Zoro. Mm-hmm. Like, Sorry, I'm just getting like real hyped. <laughs> and then like my second team will probably be like Yugi with like maybe Sanji or Sabo. Uh, and then the fuck away from Sanji, you Sanji hater. After after you just <laughs> uh, you don't you don't, you don't get the right to use him. He's mine. I never did Sanji. I'm just saying Zoro stomps. Anyway. Yeah, okay. Uh, you then know. Get the fuck away from him. Because so my, my team's going to have Sanji. And I'm going to be kicking your ass. Literally with kicks because it's Sanji. All right. Like Yugi. I, I, this my second or third team I haven't decided yet. Probably like Yugi and then like maybe like Luffy. I'm definitely going to have Sanji and Kilua, And I can't decide on my third quite yet. Probably. Probably Kurapika, to be honest. Kurapika would look fun. I do you like know? Kurapika, but I kind of want to have a team of like three separate like uh, franchises, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Kirby is gonna be fun as fuck for sure. I think though, here's what I'm thinking: if Jotaro's on, if Jotaro's confirmed, it's gonna be fucking Sanji, Kilo, and Jotaro. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> just, just, just from the roster alone, because I'm telling you, my first team's already down packed. Asa, Deku, Zoro. Just the second and third teams is gonna be hard. I got Yuki also, there. Keep in mind too. Other- think about Jotaro as an assist. He's just gonna come out. Oh no no no! Jotaro's gonna be the best assist ever, man. Think, just, I don't know, man. I, I, I just, I just, had, I just had hope that they would fix this one, this sharing health bar stuff. But I, I just, I just can't really uh, yeah, complain yeah. about it anymore. 
I just complaining about it. It just seems like beating a dead horse. Yeah, but you know, that's, that's YouTube and it's not going to change. Beat dead horses for views. Sorry, it's Pete not going to change. I I just think that at the end of the day, that's going to be one of the biggest games downfall is that people are just going to be like, "Why am I playing a game that has three? I have three characters, but they all share one health bar. But I can play a game that if it's an actual tag game and." Characters that separate health bars, like Dragon uh, Ball Fight. I'll answer that question. You're playing it because it's the Smash Brothers of Shonen Jump, and it's worth it. <laughs> Just as people, it, maybe not a lot of people, but some people still played J-Stars because of the crossover element. You and I were playing fucking J-Stars like a month before Jump Force was announced <laughs> <laughs> online. Despite J-Stars, it's obvious flaw of the game is fun as hell. There is no... Oh my god, denying that that game so much fucking fun fun playing that with you. (laughs) Like, that game was fucking fun. I'm I'm sure Jump Force is going to be fun, too. It's just going to be annoying having to fucking... Ugh, God, I can't Remember that clutch-ass victory I got? I was so proud of myself. I'm so so upset you didn't upload that to the channel. I have it. It's still on on the channel, but it's privated. You're vehement against gaming content. Because no one cares, (laughs) Thurman. Listen... (laughs) Put in the comments. If you want to see that, I'll upload it to some other place, and then I'll, like, link it in the fucking comments, okay? The problem, too, though, I don't know if this is normal. It saved that clip with no sound whatsoever. It's, like, soundless. It's just an awkward, silent clip of an entire match in J-Stars. But the end is, like, the clutchiest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's beautiful. Basically, you know how Kilua, if anyone's played J-Stars, you know how Kilua, like, he can use Zetsu in that game and go invisible. So, like, Thurman's fucking fighting everyone off because I have, like, one more death and we lose. It's, like, first team to three deaths loses, right? Or or three wins or whatever the fuck, right? So, like, um, I, so I go invisible with Zetsu because I'm, like, if I die we lose. So I'm letting Thurman fucking take care of business while I'm invisible. They get, they start to overwhelm Thurman. So I come in and I'm like, all right, you know, fucking, and I do his forward circle, which is like the circle of electricity he makes. And I just boom them both as I was, but I, before that, it was like three minutes of me running away from, <laughs> it was beautiful. So yeah. I'm excited uh, to play it online with you, man. It's going to be some fun shit. Yeah. yeah. You will have a fucking console. So yeah, I'm gonna have a PS4 now. Like, it, it, so a lot of games I can play. I'm just waiting. To, I'm just gonna buy the PS4 same fucking day Jump Force comes out. I already have Jump Force uh, pre-ordered. Uh, does Andrew have a Xbox or a PS4? Andrew has a PS4, but he's one of those people that refuse to pay for online. Oh, he thinks it's he thinks it's uh like unacceptable that you should ever have to pay for online play, and I can't get through to him on that. I have 50 50 in that. That's a video entirely. I understand where he's coming from, but like it's really frustrating because I can't play anything with him online because he literally won't pay for it. <laughs> Sounds like he's uh, against all type of online pay whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the day, final say, we'll probably do one more video about this. Oh, I'm going to do a video of this with. Uh, would I play the play the beta? But man, I'll probably ugh. jump in and just like you, you, I, you, I can be the one you're telling about, it to, you know, because I know yeah. you're not super into solo videos. I'll just sit here and you can tell me about how good it was or how bad I, it was. Dude, by myself, sue me. I'm not. I'm sorry. Nah. I'm not, sorry. Sorry, I'm not a king of lightning. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have that. I don't. I don't have that. Have that type of type of charisma yet. Yet. Yes, one day. Um, also, we're, we're 10 subscribers away from, uh, 300, Thurman. What should we do? <laughs> Nipple reveal. <laughs> That's a fucking good, uh, in, uh, inside joke to anyone wanting to know. Uh, I think, what we- was that? Like, just to show you how far we've come, I'm pretty sure originally a joke that Thurman and I made was that we would do a nipple reveal at 100 subscribers. And I was like, no, we can't. <laughs> How far we've come. All right, 300 subscribers. Triple the nipple. Triple the nipple. Oh, my God. I guess, and with that, peace. Peace.